you now. Oh my goodness, praise God. I'm so excited that your computer is now working. Um, yeah. Anybody wants to, has any news from the week? How was the week? What was happening? I started my homework last week. Oh my goodness, and how did that go? It was kind of stressful, but it was fine. Oh man, thank goodness it's Sabbath today and we don't have to do any homework. We can rest. Hey, that's why I love Sabbath so much because it we can rest. Um, Kungawo, I see Kungawo's hand is raised. Kungawo, what do you want to say? Um, my weekend was my, my week was great. I had a new phone from my uncle. What? That is so exciting. And Are it's a Samsung it? and it's a Samsung S7. What? That sounds very expensive. Very and, expensive. Mm, and Amu? I started my work this week. Your work? Yes, my homework. Your homework. Okay. And how is that going? Um, fine. Is it going fine? Yes. Okay. Are you enjoying work, your school work? Kind of. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Can I talk? Yeah, of course you. I am a, a my holiday was fun today. I only had I, I went to school yesterday. Okay, how did that? It was fun. Okay, I see some people have just woken up. So, so morning. Oh, they're just, they just woke up. Morning, did everybody. you wash? And welcome to Sabbath school. Okay, um. Okay, are there any birthdays before we pray? Are there any people who had birthdays over this past week? Anybody who's here who had a birthday? Over the past week? Yes, sweetheart. Who is the mom's birthday? Oh, it was your mom's birthday. Yes. Okay, congratulations and happy birthday to Mama. Um, I think it's good that we sing for Mama when it's time to sing. Was that Andonga who said it was her mom's birthday? It was Lise. It was Lise. Oh, Lise. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. You're gonna sing for your mom. I think I saw on Facebook that it was your mom, that it was your mom's birthday. So we uh we have to sing. We've got to sing for Lisa's mom, guys. Um, anybody else who had a birthday who wants hey. us to sing for them later on when we singing birthday songs? Jakey, do you have your hand up? I just wanted to tell you about the talent show that I am. I just want to tell you about the talent. It's fine. I just want to tell you about the talent show um, that is being hosted by the Cape Conference. And I know that um, I've got two people from our church who will be participating in the talent show. But I would like to have. I would like for us to have more people participating in the talent show because I know that you boys and girls are super talented. <laughs> and talents that I think you need to show off for Jesus. So if there's any among you that um, wants to join in the talent show, I certainly invite you to let your parents contact me. We only have two. 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 So I, I certainly um, advise you to please contact me 
um, and make sure that you are part of that talent show, all right? Um, I just need to switch devices now so that we can start and we can get ready for somebody who will pray for us. Do we have any visitors amongst us? Do we have anybody who's coming to join us for the first time? Do we have do, do we have somebody joining us um for the very first time today? I know that we were going to have some visitors from Pretoria um today. Um, but I will acknowledge them as soon as I know that they are amongst us this morning. Um so but before we start our before we start our Sabbath school, we've got to pray. And when we pray, we're actually inviting Jesus to join us for our Sabbath school. He's already here, but we want to tell him that he's welcomed to be with us on every Sabbath school, okay? And I am going to ask, um, I saw somebody that I was going to ask. I want to ask Mushe. Mushe M20? Mushe, do you want to open for us in prayer, my sweetheart? Okay, she doesn't. Okay, she. Okay, she's not. She, she doesn't want to. Um, can can maybe can she, I open oh, prayer? Can I pray? Can I pray? Lisa, Lisa Magola, you want to pray for us? Zimmy's mm -mm. mom. I want to pray. I want to pray. Zimmy's mom, okay. can I just pray? Miss Zimmy's mom, can I pray? Me too. No. Okay, so we're going to have Lisa pray open for us in prayer today. Lisa Magola, uh, we all, let's all make praying hands. I want to see you make praying hands. And let's close our eyes. Lisa, go for it. Let us have a lovely day in this Sabbath day. This is this is the day that we've been waiting for, and we can have a beautiful day, Jesus. And the coronavirus is still gonna carry on doing this and please help us to defeat it in the next day please and please and thank you for taking care of us throughout the day yesterday jesus name is the amen 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 thank you so much brother Makola, um for uh, you forgot something I'm thank you when you finish okay thank you so much um for um that prayer brother Makola. and like i said we are all welcomed to sabbath school okay um so we're going to see if we can have the birthday song quickly I haven't been told of anybody else who has got a birthday except for Lisa Magola's mom. And we're gonna sing for Sis Ayanda. Um, Samila, so Monde yes. has her hand up. Monde has her hand up. Okay. Monde, I'm acknowledging the hand. Yes. Yes, what do you want to say? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ask everybody to mute. Um, I'm gonna ask everybody to mute while we have the person. <laughs> it's your birthday. 
To acknowledge that hand, Monday. What do you want to say, my sweetheart? On Wednesday was my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! And I hope that song made you feel special. Did the song make you feel special? Yes. I am so happy for you. So we're going to um, see if we jump straight into our lesson and start. Listeners, mom just sent us a message to say thank you. Um, it is only a pleasure for us to have shared that, to have played that song for you. Um, boys and girls, welcome again to Sabbath School. And I hope that you feel blessed. And over and above, I hope that you have a happy Sabbath, okay? And that you're, because you're going to be blessed that you are also going to be a blessing to other people, okay? Happy Sabbath. And so I am going to continue with our story from last week with the beginners. There's Mangaliso. I see Mangaliso is listening in her class. She's part of the class. Ndando. Hello, Ndando. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hello, Dando. Dando is waiting. Hello, Mangaliso. Okay, and who else is in this class? I, um, anybody who is aged zero to two? Hello, Where's okay. Brother Gopa? Yeah. Where's Brother Gopa? Her mom is waving at us. I think she's going to go and get Brother Gopa. These mm -hmm. guys can be very busy. So I am going to share our lesson. I just want to find out if anybody remembers what our memory verse for the beginner class was. The story is called Food for Elijah. Food for Elijah. And the memory verse was found in Philippians chapter 4, verse is 19. And it says, my God will meet all your needs. How many of your needs will God meet? All your needs. It says, my God will meet all your needs. Oh, yes, that is true. Okay, so we want, the reason why we keep on repeating this lesson for the beginners is because we want you to know that God takes care of their of your needs we want you to know that that god takes care of your needs we want you to feel grateful that god looks after you okay and it would be good if you could respond by praising god for his care on you god takes care of our every little need remember god told elijah to take a message to King Ahab. So Elijah told King Ahab, God says, no more rain. I want you to count with me for how many years? For one, two, three years. King Ahab is angry at God. Mm. 
He's angry at Elijah too. Elijah is only God's messenger and friend. But God will hide Elijah. And Elijah started running. Run, Elijah! Run, Elijah! The king is looking everywhere for Elijah. Run, Elijah! And hide, Elijah! Elijah hides. Where is Elijah hiding? Hiding, hiding. Elijah is hiding from the main king Ahab. The king cannot see Elijah. He's looking everywhere for Elijah, but the king cannot see Elijah. But God can see Elijah. God takes good care of his friend Elijah. Thank God that God can take good care of us when we are his friends. Are you listening? Are you listening? What does Elijah hear? Elijah hears water. Elijah hears water. Elijah hears wind in the trees. And Elijah starts praying. And then God whispers to Elijah, rest my friend, rest by the water. And that did Elijah took a nap. Elijah took a nap. Elijah took a nap. Um, and then, as, and then Elijah woke up from his nap. And guess what? He was thirsty. He was thirsty. He needed something to drink. Elijah went to the brook of water and started picking up water. Fresh, cold water. Elijah started drinking. Drink, Elijah. Drink. Drink, Elijah. Elijah has lots of water to drink. But where is Elijah's food? Because Elijah started getting hungry and her, his tummy started grumbling. There is no food for Elijah. No bread, no rice, and no potatoes. What is Elijah going to eat? See a big black bird that flaps towards Elijah. See another big black bird. These birds are called raven. They fly in the sky. I want you to pretend like you're a bird. Where are your wings? Show me your wings. Big black birds flying towards Elijah. And guess what they had brought for Elijah? They brought bread. <gasps> Yummy in my tummy, said Elijah. The birds brought, the birds brought bread for Elijah to eat. Oh, thank you for the bread. Thank you, God, for sending the big black birds with tasty, filling bread. It is time to sleep. Elijah kneels to talk to God. How many of you kneel down before you sleep and pray? Thank you, God, for this safe place to sleep in. Thank you, God, for the water you provided for me to drink. Thank you, Lord, for the big black birds that brought me delicious, nutritious food. Thank you for loving me. And amen. Every morning and every night, the big black birds would fly to Elijah Flap your wings like the big black bird. Big birds bring him bread for one, two, three years. There is no rain. The trees dry up. The water dries up. But God takes good care of Elijah. Thank you 
Jesus, you love Elijah and you love all the boys and girls. And remember, when you are in your bed, nice and warm and all cuddled up there, remember to thank God for all of that. And when you are eating all your delicious food and snacks, remember to thank God um, because he has provided for all our needs. How many of our needs does God provide for? Does God provide for one of our needs? For two of our needs? Three of our needs? Four of our needs? All of our needs, okay? God provides for all of our needs. And may God bless you. And may you never, ever forget that. Amen. I'm going to hand over to Bubu's mom. Um, and she's going to do the lesson. And she, it's, it's, it's her last time now this month for her to do the lesson for us. And we're going to listen carefully and give her a nice farewell until she comes to join us sometime pretty soon, okay? Thank you, Auntie Bonnie. Over to you. Right. Good morning, boys and girls. Hello. I want to see all the hands waving. Aha, you look so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, boys and girls. We are continuing with the story of Elijah. You remember last time that Elijah went to a small town, Zarephath, and guess what? From the last time we're here until now, Elijah stole there. He stole there. <laughs> he stayed there for many, a long, long time. But before we get into the story, I want to um, remind you, wait guys, I want to remind you of what we we have as our memory verse it says the lord cares for all those who trust in him okay and that's now one verse seven the lord cares for all those who put their trust in him now i want to take you to a small town and that small town's name is zarephath and I want to show you that after all this time that those people of that town were still worshiping the false God. Hmm? Baal, they were still bowing down to Baal. So let's go, let's go. Let's go to the small town. Wait, 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 wait. I want to show you something. You see all the worshipers? Hmm? Yo, 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 yo. So many people worshiping. And there is Baal, the unicorn. You see Baal? They are praying to Baal. So, so what are they saying? Lord Baal, give us rain. What? What are they saying? Lord Baal, give us rain. Do you see them, boys and girls? And let the ceremonies stop. All of these worshippers, he, some of them even got their kids here. Yay! Some of them look yeah, pink yeah. and brown, and yeah. some of them, do you see them? All dressed up and all came to worship. Wow! Bobo, tell us more. Tell us more. So, Dear. let me show you. This is the. This is the king's palace. Wow! Do you see that king's palace? He wants mm -hmm. everybody to bow to bow. What? And he puts on the ceremony. So. Oh! And then they all are going. Wait, wait, wait! Let me show them the worshippers. And then they are all going to bow and ask bow What are they saying, Sasa? No! Lord Bar, give us rain. You see, some of them are sitting upstairs. Check them. Hmm? Lord Ba, 
Oh, give us rain. Oh, my goodness. And now it's the time to name Okay, yeah. not all the names. Okay, a few names. Kevin, Tommy, Alexa, Anna, Elsa, Jasiso. Simu Siso. I like that. Jack, Chelsea, Jack. Do you see them? Ryan, they are worshiping and none of those prayers Daisy, are Jenny. going to come true because Val can't hear anything. Now, I want to tell you what happened next. And I want you to see what happened next. Come, girls. So, the story tells us that the widow who was still staying in that small town of Zarephath was still quite poor. But the Lord kept his promise. Every time she looked in the jar for flour, flour came out. Every time she looked in the jar for oil, oil came out. But there was no food in the land. And then God made sure that she always had bread and she always had oil so that she could eat. And you know what? Um, Elijah was staying with the widow in that small town. But then something terrible happened. Ding, 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 ding. Close the door. Something terrible happened. I want to show you what happened. Ding, 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 ding. Come so, so. So, this is the boy, the widow, the boy's widow. Do you see the boy's widow? And then this is the widow. Okay, go for it, Soso. Mama, 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 mama. Louder. Mama, mama. Don't do well. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> now the widow is giving the, the water to drink. You see that boy? He's drinking some water. And then the mother is hoping that the boy will get better. And then she started to sing for him. No, sing for him. Mm, she started to hug the boy and she started to sing for him. But nothing, absolutely nothing was working and the boy was not getting well. She was worried. Who takes care of you when you are ill? Hmm? Who do you tell when you have a sore head or a tummy ache? My mom. Okay. Okay. My mom. The yes, the parents. So the little boy also did that. Told the mother, mm -mm. Feel so good, mama. Oh no, it don't feel so good. And the mama said, come, come, come. Let me give you some water to drink. Mm. Oh, but it didn't work. Uh, the boy just didn't get better. And sadly. Very sadly, the boy didn't make it and the boy just died. Isn't that sad? The boy, the little boy died. And so, as you can see, that the boy has no life now. Can't move, can't breathe, the boy has died. And then the widow called out to Elijah. The widow was calling for Elijah because Elijah, as the widow knew, was the man of God. And she was hoping that Elijah was going to be able to do something about this. And then we see Elijah coming in and coming to the little boy. Let me introduce you to our Elijah. Elijah is coming. Come, Elijah. <laughs> And Where Elijah, the boy? the boy is. Oh Lord! <laughs> Why such a bad thing happened to this kind woman? This woman has been so kind to me. Why, God, did you allow this to happen to this woman that I'm staying? He has given me a place to stay. Let me go upstairs and to. 
pray for the poor. Oh God, oh Lord, my God, I pray. Boy and bring him to life. God is not hearing me. Let me pray again. Oh God, help me. Heal this boy. This widow has been so kind to me and you, Lord. We worship you. Please heal the boy and bring him to life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Two times a life. And nothing happened. The boy's life had still not returned. And then what happened? Lord, my God, I call for you again. Please heal this. Can you bring him to life? Can you bring this boy to life so that there can be joy in this house, so that the, your servant? And the widow can be happy. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Wow! Oh, oh, no, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The little boy came to life, and the little boy and the mom were reunited. There and is a boy. Elijah carried the little boy downstairs. He to is the alive. Mom. He is alive. Hallelujah! And what a joy that was. And you know what? This always reminds us that God has always his eye on his people. And as you can see their house, that what you have here is the downstairs where the, where the widow and his son were staying. And the upstairs, they made a room there for Elijah. And they were living happily ever after. And a joy that was that the little boy and a widow continued to enjoy a bountiful life. And those who were still worshiping Baal continued to worship Baal. But God held the rain. But God made sure that the people who believed in him had flour and oil so that they can have bread every single day. So our memory verse says that God cares for those who trust in him. And that's now 1 verse 7. Little boys and girls, I hope that when we run into difficulty, we can remember to call onto the name of God and to be able to say, Jesus, help me. And that's how God sure that our needs are met. God bless you and girls and always remember that even though you saw a big crowd, Worshipping Baal, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it okay. But stand for the truth. Amen. 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 Thank you so much um, for that wonderful story. Hey, how many of you guys enjoyed that story? I want to see your hands, the hands of those who enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the story. I like that cute little boy. Did you see that cute little boy? And did you see how beautiful the widow was, the mom to the boy was? And how about Elijah? How did you like Elijah? Thumbs up for Elijah. Yes. 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 Thank goodness. Um, so we're uh, now going to move to Auntie Malungi with the primary lesson. 
we just want to acknowledge that our pastor has joined us this morning. Thank you, Pastor Annie. And um, Pastor Annie, can you wave to the kids? Happy Sabbath and thanks for joining us, Pastor Annie. You can you're gonna chat with us a little later on. Um, Auntie Malungi. It is Auntie Esme today. Sorry, I'm sorry, it's Auntie Esme. Auntie Esme, over to you. I'm gonna see if I can pin you on. <laughs> okay. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you are happy it is service today. Okay, so we all cannot sing at the same time on Zoom. Um, but I would love us to do a song. So I want you to do the actions, right? I will sing and you will do the actions and then we'll go into our story, okay? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hand. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hand. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your hand. If you're happy and you know which do all three. If you're happy and you know do all three. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Thank you, boys and girls. At least we can do some actions together if we can sing at the same time. Okay, so our lesson for this week says, now I sing. And we are going to ask Ukungawo, to do the memory verse for us. Kungawo. Acts chapter nine, verse 15. This man, this man is my chosen instrument. Thank you very much. This man is my chosen instrument. And I think let us get the message now before we go into the lesson. Kubuse. Ubuse, can you tell us what the message for the lesson is? Okay, is Ubuse there? Hello. Hello. Yes, Ubuse? The message is God loves changes people. Yes, God's love changes people. Thank you very much, Buse. So boys and girls, if we remember last week, the story was about Saul, who was on his way to Damascus, and uh, he was struck by light, and he was blinded by light, and his friends helped him to um, take him to Damascus. So our story continues today. So when he got there, he was in Judah's house. He sat there quietly with his head bowing down and he was praying all the time. Saul had so many things to pray for. 
He was definitely praying for forgiveness to God, asking for forgiveness. And he was so scared whenever he thought um, of the people that he wanted to persecute, those people he wanted to kill because they loved God. He did not only pray for that, he also thanked God for saving him. Whenever he saw, he imagined when he met Jesus and he imagined all the lightning, he got so thrilled and he was happy because God saved him. So Judas and his family, they offered him food and some, and some drinks, but he didn't want to eat anything. He didn't even want to drink. And you know what? The family just left him there. But in Damascus, the people were talking and they were saying, hey, did you hear? Saul has arrived. He has arrived. The guy, the, the, the Christian hunter, he has arrived. And they kept on talking about him. And they said he was actually sitting at Judah's house. And as the people, and the people were talking all the time and they were thinking, man, there is something strange that must have happened to him because he was also blinded and he couldn't see. So three days had gone after he met with God on his way to Damascus. Then there was a man called Ananias. Ananias was also a follower of Jesus Christ. And God spoke to Ananias in a vision. Or we can say he spoke to him and let's listen to what God said to Ananias in the dream. Sorry, Ananias was so nervous. He was so nervous. And he said, Lord, many people told me about this man. He has terrible, he has done terrible things to your people. Now he has come here to Damascus. Oh Lord, the leaders have actually told him to go and kill all those people who worship him. And you know what? The Lord answered Ananias because he was so nervous. And this is what the Lord said to Ananias. Yes, God reassured Ananias that he must not be afraid. Ananias obeyed God. He went to Straight Street. He looked for Judah's house. He found Judah's house. And when he got there, um, Saul was sitting down, bowing down and not seeing anything. And he, he was full of compassion, caring and loving um, Saul. And he put his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus has sent me. He is the one you saw in your dream, in your vision. He said, you are going to see again and you are going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something fell off from the eyes of Saul, something like flakes and Saul could see again, right? Saul, after that, he immediately wanted to be baptized and um, he did not even worry about the food that was prepared for him. He just wanted to work for God. So God called Saul. God called Ananias too. And they served God for the rest of their lives. So today, boys and girls, God is calling each one of you. God is calling each one of you to serve him. So you must listen to God, right? Do you guys want to be God's witnesses? You can just nod your head if you want to. Do you guys want to listen to God? That's very good. So because we don't have enough time, I'm going to give you homework, right? When you, after the, after the Zoom lessons, when we're done, um, 
you must draw your hand on a paper, right? And you must actually think when somebody does something very mean to you, something bad or something very ugly that you don't like, no? you must think about what is it that you do, right? Then you must also think what would God do if somebody does something very mean? So this is what you guys have to do. On the hand, you must write the name of the person who does mean things to you, or you can draw the person, right? Then on the other side, you must write what you want to, what God would want you to do, right? So this person kicks me at school, right? And then I'm gonna write the name of the person. Then on the other side, I must write what I would do, what God would want me to do, right? Because God is calling us, right? God called Saul because he did bad things, right? And he used him as an instrument to talk about his word. So all the people that do bad things, we must do good things for them, right? That is the end of our lesson, boys and girls. Enjoy the rest of your day. Amen. Thank you so much, um, Auntie Esme. Um, that was a powerful lesson. Um, and I hope that we can always remember to first think, what would God do? Um, and up next, we have got Auntie Monde, Usis Monde. Um, we are very, um, um, we, we are, we are very short of time, and it's unfortunate that that is. We only have 10 minutes to go now um, because we've got a story time. And I want to encourage you to tune in to the Cape Conference site after this at half past 10. I will be doing the children's story there. And you girls and boys can join in there and listen to the children's story together with all the other Cape Conference children. Um, over to you, Sis Monde, with the PowerPoint class. Good morning, um, boys and girls. The mm -hmm. title for today is In Pit, Prison, or Palace. Okay, is there anyone here who knows what our memory verse is? From the PowerPoint, anyone from the PowerPoint class? It's a pretty long verse. This is so good. Does anyone know Owe? Mm -hmm. You know? No? Okay. So our memory verse, let me share it with you. Our power text is found in Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 37. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us, okay? It's found in Romans 8, verse 35 to 37. Please do go and check that memory verse and learn it, okay? Now our PowerPoint is God blesses when we serve him in spite of Satan's obstacles, okay? Now I want you guys to listen very carefully at today's lesson, all right? Because at the end, I'm going to ask you who I was talking about, all right? So I'm going to tell the story in a first person, okay? The first person, that means I will act like the person in the story, okay? So at the end, you must tell me who I was, all right? Okay, so I'm so young why would my brothers do this to me you know they decide to sell me to the egyptians what have i done first they threatened that they were going to put me in a pit 
And then the next thing I see a caravan that's going to Egypt and they're like, you know, let's sell him to those people. And here I am on my way to Egypt, far from my family, far from my father. I don't even know where I'm going. Why are you people, why are they treating me like this? I mean, they are my brothers. Um, but you know what I'm thinking about? I am starting to remember my God. Well, the God that my father taught me of. And he always told me that this God cares and he will always, always be with me, no matter what. So um, I guess it's, it's fine. Um, so now here I am in Egypt and I'm working for a man called Pharaoh. Um, well, it's going well so far because, you know, I'm doing the best I can. And I remember whose son I am. I am God's child. So I will always do my best in whatever I do and I will represent God. So let me just work for this man called Pharaoh. So here I am sitting, minding my own business, working hard and serving the Lord. And then Pharaoh's wife approaches me and she starts doing funny things. And now here I am being accused of something I did not do because Pharaoh's wife started doing funny things and she started blaming me for something I did not do. So now Pharaoh is very upset because I mean, it's his wife. So now Pharaoh is very upset and I have to go to prison. Why am I going to prison? I mean, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong, but I know God will take care of me because that's what he does. He's a loving God. Um, so here I am now in prison. And I know that I should serve God wherever I am. So I will try and serve God even in prison. So lucky for me, I met these two new friends here in prison, a butler and a baker. And they both needed my help. They needed me to tell them what their dreams meant. So I'm on my knees now and I'm praying to God and I'm asking him to help me. Okay, God, can you please help me be able to help these guys understand what their dreams mean? And God helped me because I now told these people what their dreams meant. And now they are all happy because they are no longer confused by the dreams they had. As I'm sitting in prison, they tell me to get up, to wash, to shave, to comb my hair because Pharaoh wants to see me. Oh, that's strange. Okay, fine. Um, let me go see Pharaoh. So here I am in front of Pharaoh and guess what? Pharaoh wants to know what his dream meant. But now I remember that in prison, it was not my power or my might that was able to tell the butler and the baker what their dreams meant. It was God who helped me. So let me go back to God and ask him, what Pharaoh's dream meant. So here I am again on my knees, God, God, can you please help me explain to Pharaoh what his, dreamed, what his dream meant? And God gave me an answer. So I told Pharaoh that no man, your dream basically means that there will be years of famine and there will be years of plenty. And you need to prepare for the years of famine. So Pharaoh was so impressed, okay? And I also told Pharaoh that, Pharaoh, you need to get someone in charge who will help you um, to prepare for the years of famine. So everyone is fine. So that everyone is okay when that time comes. 
And guess what, guys? Sarah told me. He said, I need to be in charge. I'm like, what? And he told me that, no, you need to be in charge because I think you can do this. You are a great guy for this job. So I'm like, oh, okay. And he gave me his ring. He gave me his robe. And I was now in charge of Egypt. I now stayed in the palace. Can you believe that? From a pit to the prison, and now I'm in charge. I'm in a palace, guys. Who am I? Who Joseph. Am <laughs> Who is that? Joseph. 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 Yes. Joseph. I am. Joseph. Joseph, well done, guys. I am Joseph. And even though Joseph was in trouble, because he was in the pit, and then he was in prison, and then he got to the palace, but there was one thing he kept in mind. There was one thing he kept in mind. When he was in the, on his way to Egypt, he thought of one thing. In prison, he remembered one thing. When he was telling Pharaoh what his dream was, he remembered that one thing. And who can tell me what that thing is? Who can tell me what that is? God is still with me. God is with me. Who was that? I didn't see. But God is with um Joseph. God was with Joseph. That's the one thing that. Joseph kept thinking about. If you remember last week, Lot and Abram, they also they always um, remember that God is with them and they built altars to praise God and to thank God. So boys and girls, God is always with us. Wherever we go, whatever we do, whatever problems we face, you might fail a test at school and feel like, oh, but why is this happening to me? But God is with you. And God will come through for you and you will see yourself um, succeeding and being great in life. Okay? So even during this coronavirus, it seems like people are, while well, it is, it doesn't seem like people are dying and it's just breaking our heart and we're like, but where's God? But God is always with us because this coronavirus will come to an end. And we will say God has been good and he has always been with us. May God bless you, boys and girls. Wow. Amen, Sis Monde. Thank you so much um, for that story. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And may God bless you. Boys and girls, did you enjoy Sabbath school? I surely did enjoy Sabbath school. Yes. Yes. And thank you to yes. all of our teachers. Yes. All of our teachers. Yes. Um, okay. Can we all mute yes. ourselves? Yes. Can we all mute ourselves? And then we're going to have Pastor Alexander, Pastor, Pastor Annie. We're going to have Pastor Annie close for us in prayer. And then we're going to have a nice song from last year's international campery when the theme was chosen um and we're gonna listen to that song as we end off and we can dance along to the song, song? I want to see yes yes i just wanted to say something quick before pastor prays okay sure okay um i just wanted to appreciate the presence of all the children that join us every Sabbath morning. It means a lot to us and it means a lot to God. And I also just want to acknowledge Usiba, Nolukanyo, Upau, and Usabs. They actually joined us recently and we are happy that they joined us and, they, and we hope that they're going to stay with us going forward. Thank you, Psalms. Thank you so much, Auntie Esme, for acknowledging those people. We always want to acknowledge people who come and join our Sabbath school because it is special to us, okay? 
Um, over to you, Pastor Annie, as you encourage us and pray for us. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Great. Let's let's. Let, I I I I made some notes here, and and some some things stand out for me. Morning, morning, everybody. Morning to the children. Good to see you. Morning. Uh, and so it says. It, it says that God cares for those who trust Him. Trust in Him. That means that. God cares, but there's something that you must do. And trusting in God is a decision. You choose to trust him. Uh, he cares, but it is you and I who must trust. And then, so trusting is something that we have to practice every day. Uh, let me see who I can ask a question here. Let me see who I can ask a question. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Uh, all right. Now, I will, maybe I won't ask, ask the question. So, so we must trust God, but trusting is, is a choice that you make. I'm sure that you trust your parents. But you have to choose to trust in the trust them, but and that trust is something that you grow every day. Just like you read your Bible, grow every day. Uh, read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. So you must trust. So the more you trust, the greater your trust will be. That's the one thing. Trust in God because He cares for you. And I'm sure all of you have food every day. I see you, everybody's looking nice and uh, nice and warm. Uh, and everybody looks healthy. It's because somebody cared for you. Mom and daddy cared for you. And God cared for you. And then the other thing that I want to mention is that we are all, all of us, we are chosen instruments of God. Each one of us must always remember that. As we go from day to day, remember that you are all chosen instruments. And you must say to yourself every day, I am a chosen instrument. I am a chosen instrument of God. And the more you say it, the more you believe it. So, this week, remember, you must trust God and that you are a chosen instrument. All of you, let us pray. Thank you, God, that you care so much for each one of us. Thank you, God, that we are all chosen instruments. Each one of us is very special to you and very special in the eyes of our mommies and daddies and very special to each one of us. Thank you for this privilege that we have every Sabbath morning to come to the screen and to grow. Thank you uh, to the mommies and daddies who put in great effort to ensure that these programs run regularly. Bless each one of us, God, and may we have a happy Sabbath. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen, and thank you, Pastor Ani. That word of encouragement really does speak to the song that we're going to play just now as we play out. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I love you, and Jesus loves you more. Um, just one moment as we play out. Bye-bye. Thank you.
have a blessed Sabbath. Jesus loves you. And okay, bye bye, boys and girls. Bye. 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 Bye.